Hello everyone and welcome to Games, Comics and Crafts. In this video I'll be looking at Thundercats issue 2. Okay, so second issue of Thundercats. Um, first things first, excellent cover. Um, one of a gazillion again, just like this first issue. But uh, this one genuinely looks like Lion and Panthro. I mean, even the, the costumes are obviously redesigned from the originals, but that's nice. That's a nice, nice cover. Um, so this this one's a weird one again. Um, I had to go back and double check what happened at the end of issue one because it's like, how does this fit together? So at the end of issue one, Sword of Omens is destroyed by size axe for some reason, although I don't quite know why. Um, the mutant's ship has come crashing down onto the third earth, and even though there's monkeys and stuff in there, we don't see them. Um, and we cut to Lino being asleep and seeing uh, a ghost of Jaga, I believe, and he wakes up and the, the kit and cat are there and they talk about the Ifandera being smashed. And it's like, oh yeah, it's the Ifandera is broken. Oh, that's, yeah, it was bad, that was, wasn't it? Well, yeah. But that's literally it. Um, there's no mention how, how the battle was won. Apart, apparently, that when once the ship crashed, if we, all the slides people just, oh, well, we'll leave it then. We'll go away. Um, there's, they were sparsely outnumbered. There's no, there was no combat there. It's, they've glossed over again. That, they, I mean, they glossed over in the first issue. But the second issue, they've literally just glossed over. There's no no reason why it mentions why... Um, he was asleep or was not unconscious or whatever because obviously last we saw him was he was mourning the the, the death the kind of the destruction of the Eye Um It just it seems a weird junk. I had to say to go back to issue one, double check it to go. Well, did I miss something? What's going on here? Anyway, so he tries to use the eye without the spoil, the sword being on it, and what he does seems to do for some bizarre reason is to, is to look at what his other fun cats are doing. And it's like, right? Shouldn't you be worried about what the big alien monsters that have just arrived and broke your sword are doing rather than what your other people are doing it's like yeah okay yes we know it can do that it did it in the show as well but you could have cut to this anyway without having to use the eye thandera to do it you could it's, that's a comic you can cut to other scenes you don't have to anyway they they're they're looking at the ship um that was crashed and, and try and find him what they can find and they see this uh other thundercat that's actually on board the ship itself because for some reason, when all of the uh, bad guys' ships were destroyed, they decided to just leave. So all that equipment that was on the ship, all of the uh, you know items and weapons and stuff like that, I just left behind and let the Thundercats have it. It's like that makes no sense. Why would you, why would you do that? Why would you not use it? And apparently, they've been sent out to go and find a um, suitable location for a base. Build your base around your crash ship. That makes more sense. They could do that, and then then you'd have. They're obviously they're apparently they're going out to scout, and they they come across um, Mumra's temple. But they again, story wise, they could have done this the same way. The the people could have made their base at the crash ship, and a scouting party could have gone out and found. But now everybody just banned. Oh, we just abandoned the entire ship. I let it go, that's why there's a fun there, fun to get on there, that's why I have to leave her there. With all the weapons, no, I don't mind, but that's fine. Anyway, we don't see any monkeys again. They're all kind of just these slithe people, which is weird because we saw monkeys in the first issue. Um, Kit and Cat are looking around at what's going on here, and they basically see Shitara. She's brought, she brings the the the, the new last to uh, Thundercat's base. Which again is weird because I don't think they've been here very long, but for some reason they've got how got a base already built up. I mean, in the cartoon originally, it took absolutely ages for the cats there to be functional. Um, anyway, Slife's apparently gone off on his own because he doesn't want to be seen to be wounded, even though apparently he won the battle possibly because obviously he broke the broke the uh, sword of omens, um, and then apparently everyone just decided that was enough fighting and anyone anyway, ran away. Anyway, he gets attacked by a monster. He uses his mighty axe, which is, as far as I'm aware, nothing at all. It's just an axe. Um, and somehow, again, that broke the Sword of Omens. Um, and he's kind of half happy that he does it, and then he's kidnapped by somebody, which presumably is going to be Mumra or something else. Anyway, they, um, Thundercats in, 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 uh, get in, uh, interrogate, and introduce, interrogate this new um, cat, which is called Calico. Is it called Calico? Oh, Calio, sorry. 
Oh, Kalika. God, crikey. Okay. Anyway, she explains that she was taken aboard the uh, ship from Fundera and experimented upon, and she thinks she's she's back on Fundera, but she's not in there to kind of explain to her who she is. And Lino's getting a bit pissy because he's being questioned. Still can't get over his moustache. I think it's horrible. Um... Anyway, they're all they're all a bit concerned that she's a, she's a trap, and she they um, they're going to there's something dodgy going on there. And of course, Lino is really infatuated with her and can't go. It's like fucking him. <laughs> Lino, man, come on! You the sword of Omens has been broken. The, you, the, there's mutant menaces on wandering around. Worry about that for Christ's sake! Yeah, it's just like come on. This is it's such a weird focus. It's like, oh, there was a battle, and we lost it. And then I found this girl, and I decided, well, I forget about that. I'm, but it's such a weird, weird thing. Um, anyway, so it's entirely possible. She says mysterious survivors. So it is possible she might be a plant. Obviously, Mumra seems to know about her as well. I'm not massively certain about what's going on with this. Um, we have got Space Ghost coming, though. So Space Ghost could be really good. We don't know. Um... First things first, it wasn't until I got the second issue and went back. There's no Snarf. Snarf was the guiding light to to uh, to Lino, and obviously he was always there with his advice and all this kind of stuff. Why is there no Snarf? I don't understand. It's it's, it's not as like okay, he was the comedy character, but you can have Orko in Thun, uh, in uh, He Man. So why can't you have Snarf? So I don't understand that. Number two, we've got it's, it's technically a reboot, but we've already introduced a brand new character that's not in any other version of Thundercats, which I think is always a weird thing, because it's like, well, if you can't tell the stories with the characters you've already got, why are you introducing new ones, purely for the sake of, um, kind of, you know, you've obviously got a story you want to tell, but you can't do it with the character you've got, so you introduce brand new ones, just to tell that story. And to say, it's just the sheer, um, disinterest of Lino about the uh, Sword of Omens being broken is just such a weird thing. I mean, in, in the in the TV series, this would be like a multi, you know, it'd be an arc and he'd trying to get it fixed and he'd, he'd be concerned about it and sort of stuff. It's like, oh no, there's a, a pretty girl just showing up. I forget about that. I just carry on what I'm doing. So, I don't know what's going on with this one. Um, I will stick it probably through to the end to see what it's like. Um, I did do with um, Dungeon Dragons, uh, but one series that was enough, not being funny. I didn't buy the second one because I knew it would all, all, all kind of either just be nonsense or kind of go around into a, a loop and nothing will count at the end of the day. So we'll see how this goes. If nothing else, if I can get some covers that are very similar to this on all the issues, that'd be nice. But yeah, it's it's just a weirdish, weird series. Um, so we'll see what happens next. And uh, we'll see issue three, hopefully something will come of it and hopefully there'll be a bit more attention what's going on with uh, kind of like the important issues of that's supposed to be happening here. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, um, hopefully it wasn't too bad. I have a cough, and hopefully the edits will not show up. Um, but uh, thanks so much for listening, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.